Hey guys, it's Dave, and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I recently got an email from an insider at Rocket Lab. I believe he said he was an engineer with the company, and he had some insider information he wanted to share with me. I think I'm the first person who's actually gotten this news. Extremely exciting to be the first one to be able to break this story. And the employee actually had to sign an NDA, non-disclosure agreement, as well, to even work on this project. But he basically broke that agreement in order to speak with me, and that's why he is insisting on the condition of anonymity so I can't say who it is but he does watch the channel he likes the videos and really wanted to reach out to me to give me this news so basically what's happening is Rocket Lab is working on the Neutron Heavy which would be their counterpart to the Falcon Heavy it would be able to take almost three times the amount of mass into orbit as their regular Neutron it would have two boosters on the sides similar to how the Falcon Heavy does they would all three land back at Earth very similar to the Falcon Heavy and they would be able to carry those really heavy payloads for extremely expensive missions when that really heavy lift is required, something that the current Neutron just can't handle. And really, the Falcon Heavy, at least right now, has a monopoly on that industry for commercial space companies. So very excited to hear that Rocket Lab is actually working on that as well. Let me show you a few diagrams of how this is going to work. Okay, so keep in mind these are just quick renderings. They're not by any means to scale or accurate to all the details. It's just a quick diagram of what the Neutron Heavy would potentially look like. And remember, this is still very early on in development, so things can definitely change, and they probably will change before this gets officially announced by Rocket Lab. So as you can see, we have three rockets side by side, the center core rocket having a slightly larger fairing where it can hold slightly more mass still up in the air. They're still working on the designs for how large that fairing will be, how much additional space they have in there. I should have said space as opposed to mass. Uh, it's really about the volume inside the fairings, although because of the additional propulsion from all three rockets that will be able to propel a greater amount of mass into orbit, they'll be held together by clamps side by side. These will release as the middle stage gets higher up into the atmosphere before eventually detaching as well, and all three will come back to Earth. Here's another angle showing what it would look like if these three rockets were launching together. I just think it looks super cool, and I really can't wait to see it. And wait a second. Hold on, guys. I'm, I'm just getting a message from the producer of the show. Sounds like we have a reporter who just spotted Chris Kemp out on the street in public and is going to get his reaction on this news that we have Neutron Head Heavy in development. <laughs> God, I love Seinfeld. Sorry about that. I just thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, continuing on with the news, we do have some more minor details. Now, if you see in this initial drawing of the Neutron, obviously this is before the fairings were changed from the, the four pieces to just two pieces, but we can see what the second stage of Neutron looks like. It's this piece right here. Clearly this little square guy is the satellite that's being sent to orbit, and, and this part is the second stage. So if you don't actually need the full power of the two additional rockets side by side, if Neutron just needs an extra little bit of oomph to get a larger payload into orbit. They're actually looking at a different design for it. It will look something like this. Now the two second stages on either side of the rocket are just kind of like two little balls of delta V that we'll see on either side here propelling us further into orbit and being able to carry a heavier payload as well as we have a slightly chunkier fairing here than the standard one a little wider than the normal shaft of the rocket to get additional volume in there and obviously once we get into orbit, we will see that payload exit through the top of the fairing there. <laughs> and if you're still with me at this point, all I have to say to you is happy April Fool's Day. And uh, I hope you got a little bit of a giggle out of this. At least I had a lot of fun making it. And uh, I, I think it's an interesting concept for a Neutron Heavy, but obviously there is not one in development that I have heard of. And it's all just a bit of a gag. Nothing wrong with having a little fun every now and then and not always taking ourselves super seriously in the space industry and covering space companies. Uh, I will be back with more serious content soon and covering t space investing topics for you. I hope you enjoyed this video, got a little laugh 
laugh out of it maybe if you did please hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and every like does help out with the algorithm thanks so much uh let me know in the comments whether you found this is funny or if i missed the mark on it uh interested to hear for sure and i'll see you guys in the next video hope you have a great april fool's day bye for now Thank <laughs> you.